Hello, everyone. Namaskar and welcome back. Today we'll be discussing about the reflex action. Basically, reflex action occurs uh, not with the help of your brain, and uh, it happens. It occurs with the help of your spinal cord. And the reflex action we are going to talk about in this video lecture is about the is about the uh, reflex action that is unconditioned, not the conditioned one. Conditioned one was uh, conditioned one can basically be uh, um, controlled by your brain, not with the spinal cord. So if you see the transverse section of your spinal cord it looks like this in which this one is the dorsal part this one is the ventral part and in between this dorsal and ventral you can see the central canal and after just after the central canal you have you are going to see this dotted structure this one is the gray matter part of your spinal cord and this one is the white matter part which is clear white matter actually contains your myelinated neuron the neurons are longer in size in this case uh, or the neurons which are present in the white matter are going to be myelinated and longer whereas in case of gray matter the neurons which are present in the gray matter they are going to be shorter in length and they are non myelinated and in this case these neurons play the role of interneuron so what have uh, uh, and another parts are like this is the horn dorsal horn dorsal horn this one ventral horn ventral horn and uh, the dorsal horn or dorsal root actually carries your sensory neuron carries your sensory neuron from the sensory organ to the central nervous system you all know about this and after entering into the gray matter or after entering into the whole uh, central nervous system that is the spinal cord it uh, sensory nerve is going to uh, transmit or sensory nerve is going to convey the information which this sensory organ was has received from uh, received by pricking your finger and uh, it is going to send the signal to the interneuron interneuron will send the signal to the motor neuron motor neuron will come into action and it will uh, innervate the effector or organ effector organ might be your uh, biceps or effector organ might be your muscles in the forearm so that you can pull your hand back so this is all happens in the reflex section one thing more i want to say that this one the sensory organ has dorsal root ganglion present in this case which acts as a relay station or it can amplify the amplitude it can amplify the uh, amplify the impulse that was received from the sensory organ that that can be favorable for transmitting or that can be favorable for conveying all the information throughout so Thank you very much. Uh, see you in the next video.